the perfect ten. There are ten sentences utilised in the perfect seduction of you. You will have heard these sentences. You will recognise these sentences. And there is every chance you will hear them again. We use them as they are a regular and effective way to bring about your seduction. They are commonly used by our kind. But what do we actually mean when we say these ten perfect sentences of seduction? Number one, I love you and I always have. What we really mean is, my need to seduce you is considerable and therefore I will use language which will appeal to you and be so outlandish that it will blow you away. I do not actually love you. I do not love in the way that you do. I understand that the closest I come to it is infatuation. I am not in fact infatuated with you, but more precisely with what you can do for me. My needs are paramount. Yours are largely irrelevant. I say irrelevant because I do take them into account during seduction, but after that they are thrown to one side. I love the fact you fuel me, allow me to steal traits of yours for my own use, and that you give me residual benefits, such as shelter, meals, and money. Number two, we are soulmates. I know you are a big believer in emotional concepts such as love, spirituality, and the soul. I need to tap into that, and I need to do so quickly. I want to suggest that our love goes beyond this earthly plane on which we stand, and it is something all the more ethereal and noble. That ought to impress you, and cause you to become bound to me. I am not your soulmate. I am here to steal your soul, because I do not have one. Number three. I have not loved anyone like this before. There will be half a dozen willing witnesses who will testify to the contrary. In my world, however, I have deleted them from my mind, except when I fancy hoovering them and triangulating them with you as an extra fuel. And there was nothing like that when I feel this for you now. They are defunct. They are redundant. They are an unfortunate reminder of an abuser who trapped me. They do not matter now. You are all that matters to me now. Or rather, your fuel, to be accurate, is all that matters to me now. Four, I want us to be together forever. There is no want about it. We are already locked together forever. You may not think this, and indeed, somewhere along the line, you may well want to escape me. Although quite that, why that is, when you are the problem, is beyond me. Anyway, that is for later. Right now, you have agreed, although you will never actually recall having said such words to that effect, to remain my property for the rest of your life. This means that everything you own, have, and are now, belongs to me, and I will deal with it in whatever fashion I see fit. I will use and abuse you over and over again, as this is my right. Just when you think I have disappeared, I will be back for more. This is a lifelong covenant. Number five. We have so much in common. What a wonderful occurrence. Such serendipity that everything you like, I like as well. Even better. All the things that you do not like, I do not like either. It is as if we are two halves of one perfect person. That is exactly what I see because all I will do is mirror you. I have spent time watching you, observing you, finding out about you from friends, and scouring your internet footprint in order to learn as much as I can about you so that I can present myself as a mirror image. I actually cannot stand listening to Coldplay, but that isn't going to stand in the way of my replication, so I seduce you with incredible speed and ease. Number six. I hate it when we are apart. A rare nugget of truth here. I do hate it when we are apart, but not for the reasons that I have made you think. You think it is because I miss the wonderful, kind, humorous and delightful you. I actually miss all that positive fuel you supply me with when we are together, 
as you are taken in by my illusion that I have created. Moreover, I hate the fact that when I am not with you, I cannot control your environment, and I am concerned with space to think and breathe, you may just see through what I am doing, or even worse, you may listen to one of your so-called friends who will be whispering in your ear and briefing against me. I don't want your head turned elsewhere. I want it looking at me, always. Number seven, nobody can love you the way that I do. Amazingly, another piece of truth, nobody else can love you in this way because none of it is real. This is all made up in order to attract you and bind you to me because if you saw what I was really like, not that I would ever consciously allow that to happen, you would run screaming and never return. Accordingly, I will love you in a way that you are unlikely to have experienced before by deluging you with desire and then nearly destroying you through malice and vitriolic hatred. Told you I was special. 8. I can't believe we have only just met. I feel like I've known you forever. Let's live together. It feels familiar to me because you are giving me positive fuel, just like your predecessor and the one before her and the one before her as well. I do not distinguish between you, not really, because you are all appliances to me, which I want to ensnare and then drain as you pump out delicious fuel for me to consume. I say this, though, to make you feel special, because I am obviously so wonderful and brilliant, you'll be thrilled that someone like me wants to live with you. This will make you grab this marvellous opportunity before you lose it. And then I have ensnared you. Number nine. I need you. I want you. I love you. Sounds dramatic and romantic, doesn't it? Makes you feel as if everything is focused on you and I couldn't live without you. Notice how many times I use the word I. That's because this is all about me and nothing to do with you save for what you can do for me. I really mean that I need your fuel, I want your fuel, and I love your fuel. 10. You have saved me. Yet more drama straight from the romantic handbook. I know your type, that is why I choose you. You like to fix, heal, and save. You will have plenty to do in that regard, believe me. But that will come later. For now, what I really mean is that you have saved me having to look anywhere else for fuel. It is time to feed.